<laughs> I have not smiled this much since, well, we started. The happy uh, food dance. Yeah, we're wrapping up Food Fluencers Week, and if you want to rack up some likes on social media, you need to know how to photograph your food. Here to show us how to get the money shot is the founder of Brunch Boys, Jeremy Jakobowitz. Good to have you, Jeremy. Hi. 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 Oh, is that a kiss? Oh, there we go. All right. what, what is Brunch Boys, for those who so, don't know? So, Brunch Boys is my social media channels, and it's all my adventures in food. So, I travel all over the world looking for the best brunch, best you everything. You have food ventures because... That is my whole life. Listen. I'd like to send you my reel oh, yeah. to audition. <laughs> Done. So, so, teach us what we should know. What okay. makes a good food photo? Because yes. everything now is... It, when I take my kids out to dinner, if the restaurant puts the plate in front of them, mm. the cameras come out. 100%. Whether you're me or anyone else, that's right. what's so wild about the whole thing. Look at this beautiful, thin, I crust, mean, crispy. Number one rule is like start with good food, and obviously yeah. everything looks right. really beautiful. Well, but how do we mm. capture this beauty? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Before you get pre eat, I know you want to eat it. My first tip is lighting. Lighting, lighting is the most important thing. So, <laughs> so how do you survive this? Thing? You're out of luck okay. here. So there's some right. things. In a restaurant, I would always want natural lighting, so next to a window. I would like wait for a certain table, or maybe ask for a table to move around, like. You guys shouldn't do that, but like I will do that. Like that's the one spot in the restaurant I want to shoot there. So you, to you, it's like that important that you'll like oh, wait for a better I table. I will be like, I'll sit at the bar. That's the table I need. Well, 100%. It's business, right? I mean, that's right. Right. Do it right. But right. in a situation like this, I mean, it's pretty bright. The flash or no flash? Ooh, what do you think? I would say never flash. Never flash. Never flash. Oh, oh, oh boy. But I will say this: if you want to have your friend pull out their cell phone, I would. You could use a light. If it's uh, super dark, you need okay. a light. So you could turn on the phone. A good thing to do is. The light could be a little bright. Here it's hard to tell. But makeup or no makeup? Do you glisten it with anything? Do you? Well, in a restaurant, you can't always do that. Do you want me to hold but the, I think this, the So curtain. this is what you do. Yeah. So you is put a napkin right. over the light and oh, it diffuses it a little it bit. A little soft. What light. a trick. There you go. Wow. See? You see the pepperonis glistening? There you go. And then the other thing to look out for is shadows. So in here, there's lights everywhere. So ah, you can get right. And that's determined what type of shot you want to take. So here, I'm like, Okay, maybe this doesn't work for this shot. Would so you take the picture so I can have a slice of it? What about What about portrait mode? So that's a good thing to do. So portrait mode, it obviously like it focuses on the food, which is really important. So you can play around with that. I mean, that's iPhones are great to play with all cell phones, like have those things built into them. So there's lots of tips and tricks, but whatever it is, you can get all right, the shot. This is a really it's nice looking, powerful <laughs> burger here. Yes. So the other tip is contrasting colors. Oh. Um, so you see a great example of that is the burger. Yeah. Right. You see the yellow, you see the red, you see the green. Is there really bacon beautiful. on that burger? There is bacon on there. <laughs> And if you wanted to add like a little, oh God, you want to eat that too, I know. It's vibrating. I know, I, I'll, I'll move fast for you here. Um, the other thing you do is if you want a little more color, ketchup. You don't want to add things that like don't make sense for right. the food, right. but a cheeseburger like, oh, a little oh, extra yeah. ketchup. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So oh, look at that. add a little. Looks good too. Oh, I think that's cheddar cheese. That's not American. That's, that's cheddar. cheddar. That's that's cheddar. Cheddar. That is a thick cheddar cheese. So pop it there. Cheese. Add a little color, and then and then you we can get. Yeah, and that's oh, great. Yeah, green, the green lettuce makes a difference too, not just like a white iceberg. Look at that shot. Well done. All right. Um, wow. <laughs> my oh. next tip is uh, adding height. So you look at this bagel, and the like bagel that. looks beautiful, Gorgeous. but you're like, hmm, there's some, there's something off about it. So good thing sandwiches, bagels, anything is literally just, let's see here, opening it up oh. Oh, wow. and adding some height. So I need some assistance is on this. Okay. Just in case. Or is that oh, cream yeah. cheese? <laughs> I say cream cheese. It's okay. cream cheese yeah. and it's avocado. Oh, look, look at so that. So this is my order. Egg bagel, I love it. Cream cheese, avocado. Well, how do you get to stay? So here's the thing. If you oh. so you could balance it. If someone wants to like maybe gently put their finger, yeah, right there. Yeah. Perfect. And then you take the right, right down the middle. Look at yeah, that. Exactly. Mm. You know what I would do? Oh, uh, tell me. Do you want to hear what I would do? Break yeah. it down. Ready? Ready. Yeah. I would eat it. I would do a stack. Cool. Like okay. Mm. All right. I like that. We can try that. Here's the thing about food. I'm just saying, like, if I'm in my creative I think Libra like, brain, and I would also I would also portrait it so you, everybody else is blurry in the background. You're an expert too. I'm See? not. I have teenagers, and they've <laughs> taught me well. So um, yes, my next tip: this pancake sack looks amazing. What a but stack! I am. I, you always want your photos to come to life. So yeah. I think the best way to do that is with some action. So like eating the pancakes. You can eat the pancakes or action with the food itself. So oh. brunch is a really easy example. Like if you have maybe like an egg, you get like a little the, the yolk to pop on it. Yes. Mm. Or you could just pour some syrup. Yes. Oh. Would anyone like to assist me with that? Uh, I will drizzle the okay. syrup on the so. eight fluffy pancakes. Wait, 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 hold on, hold but on. Oh, nice and slow. Uh, patience is also a virtue since, apparently when you're shooting your food. Are you going to video this and slow motion it? I was going to do a photo, but yeah, oh. you could do boomerang, you could do you video, do whatever you want. Yeah. Are you ready? A little lower. There we go. 
Yeah. And go for it. Watch this oh, right, fountain right. of... Oh, oh my God. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Professional. Look at that. Nice. Yeah. Uh, That's amazing. And then with the photos themselves, you don't have to do much editing. Cell phones are great, but if you want to add like a touch of saturation. Kelly's about to burrito oh, that <laughs> pancake right into her mouth. I just have to try it. I she waited all day so long. No, I just want to. I just want to make right, sure it that it's a real pancake. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How's this the is fluff? the best part. Man. There you go. Now, what are you gonna do with this boring salad? So my extra, extra, extra pro tip is order a salad because there's lots of gluttonous foods, and you know. Be a little healthy. Oh, this is just for you to eat. Yeah, just for you. Oh, okay. yeah. Don't take a picture. Like, no that proof that you boring. ate that. Just eat it. For more information on Jeremy's Brunch Boys, go to our website, KellyandRyan.com.